guys and welcome back to our book series called pass the book where we're doing reviews on books that are on the fifth sixth seventh grade level reading my sons are both in fifth and sixth grade and a part of a book club at their school well at the youngest school now the oldest is moving on to middle school where they read from the helen ruffin reading bowl list and they compete in a competition in january i believe but today we're going to be covering saving winslow by sarah creech but as you can see it's about a little donkey <laughs> so in our past the book series my sons give um a summary of the book and they also read the synopsis and give their own reviews of the book i also give a slight small review at the end from a parent's perspective because I read the book too. We read it together. We sat and each took turn reading from the book. And then we had topics, um, writing topics that they wrote on daily. And we had open discussion about the book. And I feel like it's been very helpful for my children and developing their love for reading and understanding. Understanding that every most books <laughs> have a um, lesson to be learned or something that they can take away from the book. So without further ado, one of my sons will be reading a summary next. So let me pass the book. Okay, Selfie King. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Saving is about a boy named Louie and a donkey named Winslow. Winslow is a newborn and his mama, mama died when he was born. So Louis, Louis' father brought Winslow home with him, and Louis, Louis spent so much time with Winslow. Like Winslow thinks that Winslow thinks he is a father figure. Also, there is a, a neighbor named Nora. She loves Winslow, but is also me because she t talked about sh the donkey dying because it got sick and she didn't want to get attached to it. Since her dog died and her baby brother died too. Winslow keeps growing, so they put him outside. Winslow sings, Miss, Mrs. Tooley yells at us until they figure out that the baby was crying first, and Winslow is saying, help the baby. The bad thing is that they have, they have to give Winslow to, to Uncle Pete since <clears throat> Winslow is too close to town, but Louie doesn't want him to leave when he realizes so Winslow can protect the animals since one of the lambs has was eaten by a coyote. So Louis lets Winslow go to the farm. Then they they got they got a message from Gus, Louis' brother, that joined the army. It said that Gus is coming home in five days. So she wasn't that sad that Winslow was leaving because someone she loved was coming back home. That's my summary. Saving Synopsis of the book called Saving Mitzvah. Louis doesn't have the best luck when it comes to nurturing small creatures. So when his father brings home a sickly newborn mini donkey, he's determined to save him. He names him Winslow. Taking care of him helps Louis feel close to his brother Gus, who is far, far away in the army. Everyone worries that Winslow won't survive, especially Louis' quirky new friend, Nora. But as Louis' bond with Winslow grows, surprising events prove that this fragile donkey and Louis are stronger than anyone could have imagined. So in this book, Winslow and Louis both have a bond together because they're like strong. They can do anything together because they, because Winslow didn't die. Because Louis makes sure he didn't die. Winslow would have died without Louis. He was a get, wouldn't have proper care. Because they wouldn't believe that he would live since he, since he doesn't have a mom or because people don't like donkeys that much. They just think they're just on the side, just there, an old roughy donkey. But no, they protect the animal. They're helpful with the father. Guys, I have to tell you the truth. I feel like this book was very short and kind of boring. 
I give it only three out of five stars. My favorite part was um, they how Louie was passionate to finding Winslow. Honestly, I feel that this book was very boring, but it did have some funny and surprising moments. I think that this book deserves a three out of five. It deserves it. Four. Because, well, it just it's just like different to me. Because I don't really like this way it did it. It was did it in a weird way. I want more, 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 more juicy. More, more juice. I would not recommend this book to my friends. I would not want them to waste their time. Ooh. <laughs> Raw and a good Romy. <laughs> I agree with the three out of five. I, the book was fairly short, and in its shortness, it did not develop the characters enough for me. I did not become invested in them. Um, so although it was a short book, it seemed to drag on because I'm just like, get to it already. But I think for a younger student, like in second or third grade, they who are just starting to read chapter books, they would enjoy this book. Um, it's about a cute little donkey and you know, it's a quick read. So if you have a student that is that age, they may enjoy this book. But for my fifth and sixth graders, it was not the best book. We struggled getting through this book. Um, but I'll link it down below for you, just in case you have a younger reader. Um, you can still give it a try. It's a cute story, but you just don't connect with the characters like we've done in so many of the other books. So thank you for watching and make sure to pass on the book. Make it a great one.